Hey YouTube family, Tony Denise here. Thanks so much for stopping by Rise Up and Bloom. Well, today's message I talk about, what do you really want? Just a short message on what do you really want and figuring out how to get it. At this point in our lives, we owe it to ourselves to figure out what it is that we really want. Not what our family members want, not what our kids want, but what do we really want? We deserve it. We need to give ourselves permission for that. So stick around. It's a short message and I hope you enjoy it. I'm back and uh, I have this little book I want to read uh, to, from you today. It's called, um, I Wish For You. Let me give him proper respects. I Wish For You, Gentle Reminders to Follow the Heart and it's by Lance Wobbles, the author of Dance While You Can. Uh, when I was thinking about what I wanted to share with you guys, this really resonated with me. May you take time when needed to quiet your soul Silence the noise in your head and heart and remind yourself of what you really want out of life. And I'll read that again. May you take time when needed to quiet your soul, silence the noise in your head and in your heart and remind yourself of what you really want out of life. And that re resonated with me because I think uh, it's really important at this time in our lives to think about what we really want. Um, I think when we were younger, most of our time was spent on taking care of our children, um, you know, what comes along with relationships and marriage during that time in our lives. And we really don't have the, uh, foresight or the energy um, to, hi Lisa, good morning, thank you for stopping by. We really don't have the, we just don't even think about ourselves because we've grown up to think of others. We watched our mothers do that, our aunties do that, our grandmothers, you know, and those are, it's not bad, it was good. We, we cared for others and it's nurturing is in our DNA. So we really don't, you know, didn't have the space to think about what do I want? That wasn't even an option. Well, now many of us are empty nesters or widowers um, or, you know, maybe you never had children and um, maybe you had a job that took your time and you didn't think about what you wanted to do for yourself. But I think now is a good time to think about what it is you really want. Give yourself permission to think about what it is you really want. And you know what you wanted um, three years from now might be different from now, and that's okay. So, um, you know, you can write things out, you can take walks, meditate, but I think it takes some soul searching to think about what you really want in life. And um, I think it's important because uh, we probably, not probably, most of us have, you know, there's more years behind us than in front of us. And so uh, every day matters, you know, about, uh, you know, every day matters about what we want to do uh, with the rest of our life, with the rest of our time. And so I want to encourage you to think about that and to take steps, small steps, uh, to do what it is you really want in life and figure out how to do it. And it's not, we, we know that it's not always easy, but um, it's definitely possible. And we may, we may have to find ways that are possible for ourselves to uh, get what it is we want. I know I have, I've had a lot of situations in my life where I couldn't get the, you know, the big thing, but I said, well, let me, let me work towards that. And so on the way I was able to get what I wanted, but um, I had to be creative. Um, 
in order to do that. And uh, one example of that is um, I wanted to travel when I was in college and I didn't, you know, I didn't know how, I didn't have a template to do it, but I just knew I wanted to, to go to Europe. And so I thought about it and I said, well, maybe I can go to school over there. And as it turned out, sure enough, there was a school in London that um, uh, I could go to. And it was interesting because the base school was in San Diego, California. So I was able to transfer to the to school in, in San Diego. It was called United States International University. It's not, uh, no longer, I think, I think they're still in existence, existence, but they've changed their whole structure. United States International University had a campus in London. So I transferred to the, um, the school, San Diego was the main school, and I just took classes in London. And the, 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 the sweet spot of that was all my California um, grants, scholarships transferred because it looked like I was just going to another school in California. So I went to school in London. So that was really, that was the beginning of my whole moving and living abroad. That's what propelled me um, to go. So, um, you know, I didn't go the tourist route. I went the school route and it worked out just fine. And it was the beginning of me wanting to see the world and seeing uh, a new part of the world and expanding my horizons. And that was what I really wanted. And so, yeah, that's an example of figuring out a way to how to do something uh, that you really want to do. So my wish for you um, that I shared a few minutes ago, uh, take the time to really find out what it is you want in your life because it's really important, especially at this season. And I hope you're showing up from yourself. So on that note, oh, I just also wanted to say, I don't know if you guys saw my last reel, but yeah, your girl kind of stepped out last night. It takes a, um, a friend slash family member coming in town for me to get out. It was great. We did some line dancing. So, you know, get out. I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to show up in more ways than one. So anyways, you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. And don't forget to rise up and bloom. Blessings. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.